that we started last week when we're discussing about the Easter experience. Today we are particularly going to discuss on the Easter experience during this period of lockdown since the nations are troubled by this disease COVID-19. So my first question today is shall go to our dear brother, brother Tinashe. Brother Tinashe, what's your understanding about COVID-19? Yeah, thank you, Rev. Um, this COVID-19, um, according to my own understanding from watching the news and doing a little research, I saw that it's a new uh, disease, it's a virus that was discovered uh, in the year 2019 in December uh, in a city called Wuhan in China. So what this um, COVID-19 does is that it, um, it affects um, the respiratory, the, the lungs, because it um, symptoms like shortness of breath, um, a fever, fever-like symptoms, etc., etc. So basically, it's just um, a novel uh, trend of coronavirus. The president of Zimbabwe, Emerson Mnangagwa, he gave um, orders of restriction of travels, and uh, the nation was put under lockdown. And um, this has been a new experience altogether. It meant that all church conferences that were to be held were to be cut. All church programs that were to be held were to be cut. And uh, today we are worshipping God from our homes because we are, during, we are at a period of lockdown. This Easter, we never gathered as usual, as traditionally used to gather. So today, I just want us to understand, um, you know, how how did you experience Easter this year, 2020? You being at home, not at church, like uh, other prior Easter's. You told us that you experienced three Easter's before, and this is another Easter that you experienced this year in 2020. How was the experience having Easter at home? Okay, thank you. Um, I think um, this year's Easter was a bit different from the previous years. Why? Just because um, we were watching uh, the live recordings from our Twitter live, and the difference is that we were just a small group of people, just a family. Um, and the other thing is that um, I think we took time to really understand the, the, the word of God. Um, like I'm watching something to call on as you can you sit I just took the time to replay the video and understand that. So I think it was a bit different in that I took time to really listen and really understand the word of God. Yes, Wonderful. Why well, we tell us you were locked down celebrating Easter. No more time with your friends, no more time to dance to donkey. <laughs> how, how was it? It was, I don't know, it's a different kind of feeling altogether. Because this time around, it was different, honestly. I think, firstly, we need to just acknowledge the fact that for the first time in our lives, uh, social media has been put to good use. Because we were able to um, watch this live session on, on YouTube. This is something that was never been done before uh, because we always had our, our, uh, our setting right? so the summit is different but then it was also difficult for, for I think the concentration that somebody has Angori Kumba means the concentration somebody the, the vibe that somebody has I had to acknowledge the fact that it was different because in as, in as much as this is a time to reflect Mugori Mega, Muri Muri, and really understand the sermons that really, but you cannot deny the fact that it is different and you could sometimes feel some 
something is missing and then you realize it oh bro this is ngoma no do also that you are so used to that's missing because ngoma muna chari zapati easy it's very helpful it, it helps you remember it's a kanga noti there is easter and i would like to thank the church for that but somehow it's, it's different it's like it can never be the same as when the church church type of metabolism i think that's that's just our thing wonderful uh our dear brother more quickly tell us the experience of Easter that uh, that you received at all through this channel Borodo Methodist TV did it really reflect that deeper faith in you which is different from the faith that you used to to receive from ordinary church service how was it how did it minister to you uh, to me, this Easter, it came in a different way. Because as our church, we managed to yeah, to me, to utilize the chance of using various channels like Facebook, YouTube, and WhatsApp. So our church created a media team. That's when we see preachers preaching the word of God through the, those channels. And the word would be reached, we would reach people in their homes. And as to me, it came in a different way. Because I didn't join Easter as a congregant, I joined Easter as a participant. I was, was selected to be one who can tell people what I think about Easter. So to me it is a change because I was elect, selected to preach to people in, and give my views of what I think about Easter. So to me it was a change like other Easter ministers do. Wonderful. Uh, for the past days we have given him a nickname that is called Vangeri Mo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vangeri Mo. For, for those who had the privilege to, to, to listen to the service on the 19th of April, he's the one who gave us a shona reflection of the Word of God. And you can still see it on Borodo Methodist TV. I, I want to ask our dear brother here, uh, our dear brother Tinashe. Brother Tinashe, wow. you, you know, lockdown, hey. Did your how did it did your faith suffer during this period? Okay, thank you. Um, I think first and foremost, um, this year's Easter uh, was an Easter with a twist. Uh, for the past years, we used to going to church, uh, maybe going to Easter celebration. And arriving there on Thursday, meeting new people, etc. And then this year it was quite different because um, as a family, we're now constricted to our home as a family. And I think it really made us to understand and to reflect upon ourselves, upon our lives as a family. I really think that um, this year, my, my, my faith, if I was somewhere around here, my faith, I think it was raised to maybe some of the day. Why? Because as a family now, we reflected on the word of God. From the Thursday, uh, we had we saw the, the live stream and we managed to partake even in the in the Holy Communion at home. So I think it really brought me close to home and I started reflecting upon myself. I asked myself, do I really have time to read the word of God? And after seeing that, most of the times before this lockdown, I would just browse through my Bible and then continue with my daily task. But this year's Easter, I really managed to reflect and our family bond was really strengthened because we would watch the sermons together, we would share, we would comment and we would sing. The, the whole singing, I, I still remember, I used to sing with my siblings, um, dancing to donkey in our living room, but I think uh, when it comes to my faith, I think it was really raised to a level which is much higher. Wow, wow, wow. Indeed, I, I'm sure that during this time of lockdown, we, we, we managed to encounter several experiences. And uh, so many people have called me saying, uh, Reverend, uh, we have grown in prayer, you know. We are now praying as a family. Uh, I think to every disadvantage in life, there is an advantage that God gives them. Tell us, have you improved in your prayer life during this lockdown? Okay, thank you. 
I think to some extent, yes, I have been forced in my faith, considering what uh, Tinashe was saying. It takes time to really understand what the word is saying or to really listen what the what the pastor is saying. And you can also refer back to your Bible. But then, maybe to some extent, maybe it's put on behalf of some people. I'm considering that some do not have Wi-Fi, some do not have uh, the money they buy them. Maybe their faith, to, to some extent, was lower. Consider that maybe sometime you are watching, then the your battle is exhausted. You then switch to watch something else, or maybe do WhatsApp just because you have WhatsApp. So yes, to some extent, it really helps us to really understand the word of God and the set upon it. But then, to some extent, or maybe I should say to some people, it was a disadvantage to see us media is has been a tool to reach out to people in the church during this time like our sister is saying that we had have challenges that some people were not able to reach out to but uh, it is fortunate that to those whom we were able to reach out to god really ministered in a deep way with borodo methodist tv what we were doing is that we had these live sessions on tv on on our phone on our laptops and everything and we also had um audio notes that we were sending out uh, to our congregational WhatsApp groups and also the church uh, through the evangelism department. It also introduced um, written devotionals that we have commenced to spread the word of God so that it reaches everywhere. Why? We are saying that the church of God can never be distracted or destroyed by such a pandemic like COVID-19. The devil is under our feet. Jesus Christ Rain at Calvary. I just want to to go on uh, coming to to, to, to Huawei again. Uh, Huawei, what will be your contribution? Say this lockdown is normal. We are going back to the normal church things, and the experience that you tapped during this period of in the lockdown. What would you say? your renewed faith contribution to the church of God, the physical church? I think uh, personally, uh, this time, this, this period that we're in has made us reflect on a lot of things as a church. I mean, we never had my message circulation on earth before, because we just thought we just listen to Sunday, then we hear the word, and then we go back home, meet next Sunday. That was the routine. So I think uh, up now, I'll still make sure that as a family, this is for my family, we still do those discussions that we're doing right now. Because we do a discussion every night before we sleep, we sing a hymn, we do discussions. This is something we never did. But COVID just wakened us. You know what? As this is a brara. So I think I would still push for that word to see church. Because church is just a structure that's just made for us to sing up in the Tinamati. But church begins at home. When you come back, so the church is within us. So we shouldn't wait for the Sunday each day so that we go to church. Even in the sake of my faith, actually, they told me to go to church because we need to facilitate it. I don't see why not. Even the young children at Sunday school. This is the time that people should be starting to register. We are not going to go to church. They should realize that the church Kukumba, before we even go to church. So I think I'll still preach the gospel of the Kanatate Tangoungana. But we left church Kumbakweni. Church is you. Church is the people, not the building. So nothing should ever stop us. No matter what we are COVID, COVID, whatever it has will be. No, church is us the people. So TC Church, I think I'll spread that gospel. Wow. We are the church. What a wonderful contribution that we indeed are the church. Then uh, I was having a discussion with my dear brother Mo. He was explaining to me how he received communion uh, when he was watching the presiding bishop uh, presenting communion. You told us that you received communion in a car. Tell us, share with us that experience. You receiving communion in a car, what really happened? What it happened? Tell us. Okay, thank you, Reverend. 
uh, as for me, I'm, I'm worried about the casualties caused by this COVID-19. And I, I'm also glad to announce the milestone which we reached through in this COVID-19. I would like to say I received this Holy Communion right in the car. Yes, I was in the car and we are listening to the presiding bishop giving us the Holy Communion. He would pray and he would, and he would be in the car and listening to the words and he would take the Holy Communion. So I would like to say it is an achievement because I didn't know when I was growing up, I didn't know I would have a time when I would worship the Lord in a car, in, in the house or somewhere else. But this COVID-19 brought us to a certain level where we have to worship God, whether we're in the house, whether we're in the car, whether we're anywhere. As long as where you are, you have a phone, which have got a Wi-Fi or connection, you have to listen to the word of God through that. So that I'll be Wow. Virtual communities, they are really defining the way we do church today. That God can reach out to us wherever we are through the gospel of Jesus Christ. My dear brother, any last words to the viewers? Right. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, I think the last words that I have uh, to the viewers is that we should keep on praying for such a time as this. This year, 2020, has just filled with um, a lot, a lot. Uh, soon remember there was the issue of uh, World War Three perception. Then soon after that, we have this COVID. We don't even know. We don't even sure anymore. People are dying. I was watching the, the news uh, a few days ago when um, it was announced to BBC that the amount, the, the number of deaths due to the coronavirus is now surpassed. Was something that was heartbreaking, but I would just would like to say to the public, to everyone who's watching, let us keep on praying, let us keep on spreading the word, and let us uh, keep on having faith for such a time. No, any last words, just few words. Oh, okay, I my last words to the viewers is that, um, like what my sister Wada was saying, the church is not about, um, going to the building and so on. The church is about you having a relationship with God. So I think um, the viewers, to the viewers, you can take this opportunity, this lockdown opportunity, to really uh, bond with God and really uh, you know, take advantage of this uh, social media messages and videos of your life so that you can be really close to God. Wow. We as Borodo Methodist TV would like to thank you for viewing this this broadcast of discussion through these young enthusiastic people and we pray that god blesses you in your homes and we pray that the spirit of god continues to impact greatly in your life covid 19 came and is still amongst us but it is not stealing our faith we are still praying we are still protecting ourselves we are still staying in our homes and being safe may god richly bless you as we pray this as we pray right now, I just want to pray with you where you are at home to encourage you, to give you a message of hope in this prayer. Let us pray. Father, I thank you because you are God. I thank you, God, for every young person watching this program, every adult watching this program, every kindergarten watching this program. Father, may you bless them, God, by the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and added no soul. We thank you, God, for the various experiences we encountered during this period of lockdown. We thank you, God, for the voice of God, which constantly spoke to us. Even, God, we were far away from our pews. You are God, you are mighty, and you are alive and active in us. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for such a time as this. We worship you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we shall meet again online here on Borodo Methodist TV. Goodbye! Say uchiramba kuna mata 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 Say, Uchiramba Kunamata. Say, Uchiramba Kunamata.
Is a 